Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Rocks Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of June 15th, 2016. Uh, big week this week. Uh, a lot of titles up. Um, been uh, moving over the weekend, so I got my bookcases set up, but not everything organized. And the lighting I haven't been able to get uh, down. So if the lighting's a little off this week, uh, it's because I have to uh, figure it out in the new apartment. But let's get into the pull list. First up is Archer and Armstrong number four, or sorry, The Adventures of Archer and Armstrong number four. Um, yeah, the first three issues were okay. Um, not too sure if I'm going to keep going with it. It's not as good as the series that came before it. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, next up is a new number one from DC, and that is Batman number one uh, from Tom King. Uh, can't wait to dive into this. The Rebirth issue was more of a teaser than a than a kind of a an introduction issue, uh, so it made me really curious to see where we're going with uh, Batman. Uh, next up, we have from Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen, Descender number twelve. Uh, love Descender; it's great, uh, good, good stuff. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, you should. Uh, the first trade is out I know that I think maybe a second I'm not sure how many are collected but next up we have Green Arrow number one uh, I read the rebirth issue enjoyed it so I'm gonna keep going with Green Arrow uh, and then next up we have Green Lanterns number one uh, really enjoyed the rebirth issue on that one so I'm looking forward to checking out Green Lanterns uh, next up is Justice League 51 uh, we still got this and another issue to go before we finish up with Justice League um, but curious to see how they ended out without John's on writing. Next up is Lazarus number 22. Uh, overall, Rucka's Lazarus has been really great. I've enjoyed it. It's slow, but it is good, good stuff. Uh, next up we have Lucifer number 7. Uh, we're caught up with this. Enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Uh, nothing like the TV show on Fox, but uh, Lucifer is just an interesting character overall. Um, especially coming out of Sandman and all that. So I need to go back and get uh, uh, read the Mike Carey um, Lucifer stuff. Uh, they've collected it into five um, soft covers, so I need to go and grab those. Next up we have Manifest Destiny number 20. Uh, this is part two of the Sasquatch story arc. Uh, Manifest Destiny is just amazing overall. Uh, I know numbers are low on it, but it's great great book and if you haven't checked it out I highly highly recommend it next up is issue six of six which is a poison ivy cycle of death a uh, really great series I uh, can't wait to see how it finishes out but I've really really enjoyed the the poison ivy mini so yeah good good stuff next up is Scooby apocalypse number two read the first issue is really great um, at the shop we have a joke that it's the uh, Scooby gin 13 ified so yeah but uh, curious to see where this goes really really fun title next up is new suicide squad number 21 uh, I don't know how many issues more we're gonna get I assume we're gonna get maybe one more issue of suicide squad before it's rebirth um, but uh, really really enjoy new suicide squad 21 uh, a title that we were shorted a few weeks ago, um, but we finally got back in, is Suicide Squad's Most Wanted, Deadshot and Katana, number five of six. So can't wait to dive into that and see what happens. It's been a really fun title, really good. If you like Suicide Squad or you're curious, it's an interesting title to check out. Uh, next up is another number one from DC, which is Superman uh, Rebirth. Uh, Tomasi did a great job on the, or sorry, Superman number one. Tomasi did a great job with the Rebirth issue, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing where it goes with um, Superman. So, yeah. Next up is Swamp Thing number six of six. I'm curious to see how this ends. It's been okay. Not as good as the Snyder soul stuff but overall i enjoy swamp thing uh rebirth issue out this week is the titans number one or titans rebirth number one uh, so i'm curious to see uh what we get from abnet when it comes to the titans and their rebirth uh abnet's been doing okay job on the titles i've read for that he's been doing for dc so hopefully titans um still a good title next up is wrath of the eternal warrior number eight uh, got caught up with this one. Uh, really enjoy it. It's good, good stuff. Um, I'll, Valiant's got m a majority of their line is really, really good. So, 
a bunch of variants this week <coughs> um, for you to check out, pick up possibly, all that fun stuff. Every um, DC number one has a uh, variant. I didn't pick up the Green Arrow one. Uh, that one was the uh, Neil Adams one. The coloring was amazing on it, but I'm not, just not a big fan of his artwork. But first up is the Tim Sale um, Batman number one variant cover. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, oh, there, I'll talk about that in a second. Next up is the Green Lanterns one for their variant. Awesome. Uh, Scooby Apocalypse number two had an interesting tweaky kind of looking down the drain um, cover. Uh, Superman had a very yellow-ish <laughs> number one cover. Uh, maybe an homage to Superman number one. It was a very yellow cover as well. And then Titans Rebirth has the DC logo on the bottom and the team standing there uh, variant. Um, there is a second print out this week, um, and that was for DC Rebirth number one. Uh, it does jump in price to five ninety nine instead of two ninety nine, but it's also not stapled. It is a bound version of it. So I go ahead went ahead and snagged that one up because it's just that good. So yeah, that's the pull list for this week. I did grab a couple of graphic novels, um, hardcovers. Um, they are original graphic novels. One is an adaptation of a short story, and I'll get to that in a second. But the first up is Dark Knight, A True Batman Story uh, by Paul Dini with art by Edward Rizzo. Uh, really looking forward to reading this original graphic novel. Um, can't wait to dive in and see what it is. It's weird, though, that it's be being released under the Vertigo label and not um, DC. But we shall see if it's maybe more of a mature uh, story. Yeah. And then next up is a... Um, hard, uh, original graphic novel that's um, uh, an adaptation of a Neil Gaiman short story from Fragile Things I believe um, with art by Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba two amazing amazing artists and that's How to Talk to Girls at Parties so uh, I'm probably going to try and dig up my copy of Fragile Things that I read years and years ago um, and check out uh, what that short story was and then um, compare it to that so looking forward to diving into those checking those out uh did uh, get a hold on a second that's gonna fall Let's set it down here uh did get a t-shirt this week um and it is the new suicide it's the suicide squad uh font uh for the movie coming out so snag that up so i have my suicide squad movie attire awesome stuff yeah, can't wait to wear that one. Next up is the read list. So again, these are titles that I read, check out to stay current, um, and because some of them I just enjoy, but I don't really necessarily want to pick up the single issues. Uh, first up is The Astonishing Ant-Man number 9. Uh, really, really cool stuff from Nick Spencer. Um, yeah, just it's been a really great title overall. Uh, next up is Black Eyed Kids number three from Aftershock. Interesting book, so I'm keeping. I'm gonna keep reading it, see where it goes. Next up is Black Widow number four. Um, Black Widow's been pretty interesting, so I'm gonna keep going with that one. Uh, next up is probably the big one from Marvel this week, which is Civil War two number two. Uh, if you like the movie Minority Report, I highly recommend reading this. Even though Marvel has come out and said it's not Minority Report, but all I keep seeing is Minority Report. Uh, and there's a tie-in, um, not really a tie-in, but a mini coming out of Civil War, and that's the Civil War two X Men number one. Uh, I read the Amazing Spider Man uh, tie-in number one. It was okay, so I'm gonna see how that one is. Uh, another big one from DC this week is the Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade one-shot. Um, curious to see what that entails. Um, I haven't read anything on it, um, but I'm curious curious to see where what we get out of that one. Uh, next up is Star Wars number 20. Star Wars has just been a really, really solid title. Jason Aaron's been knocking it out of the park with his Star Wars books, and I look forward to reading them every month. Um, and I can't wait for the nice collection hardcovers of those. Uh, then we have a new number one Star Wars mini, and that's Star Wars Han Solo number one. Uh, it will have plenty of variant covers for you to check out, so hopefully your shop got a decent amount of Han Solo, so they got a decent amount of variants. Um, but that's just the regular cover, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. And then last up on the read list is Uncanny X-Men number eight. Um, it continues the Apocalypse Wars 
uh, stuff. So curious to see how that's put, uh, playing out. I've been skipping the all new X Men tie um Age of Apocalypse stuff just because I haven't been a big fan of all new X Men. So yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention that is out this week uh, that I didn't actually pick up but probably will eventually is Sandman Mystery Theater Book 1, um, the trade paperback. It's $29.99 and it collects uh, the first, I think, two volumes of the old Sandman Mystery Theater uh, series, which is, from what I hear, an amazing, amazing series to read. Um, problem is, is they didn't finish collecting it in trades in the last installment, so for those of you who read it and enjoyed it, you're missing out on the last, I think, story arc or two. Um, so hopefully they finish out Sam and Mystery C the Theater in this new um, printing stuff. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, I've been uh, staying caught up with my books. Um, I wanted to really quickly go over uh, Rebirth books from last week. Um, so first I'll start with Action, uh, number, I can't remember what number it is, but it's the continuation numbering um and uh it was really entertaining uh i really enjoyed it it poses a lot of questions and um makes you really really curious to see where it goes so good good stuff from dan jurgens on that one uh so i can't wait to get the next issue and see what's going on in it with superman uh, and then the next one was detective comics which was re went back to its original numbering uh really great title or a really great issue um it really feels like batman and the outsiders but it's like batwoman and the outsiders but uh, just really really solid issue good good stuff and i really enjoyed uh reading that one uh and then there was okay there was four rebirth titles and i'm going to probably forget one but i'm, I'm going to probably think of it halfway through um we did get a uh, flash rebirth number one uh which sold out very quickly um, because it it ties in uh, directly to the events that happened in um, DC Universe Rebirth. So, uh, very, very good story. I uh, highly recommend if you can find it uh, to pick up a copy and check it out, uh, either digitally or wait for the second prints. Um, some of these might even get third prints uh, because just they weren't ordered as much. So, yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman from Rucka was pretty inter was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens with Wonder Woman uh, going forward. All right, there's a couple more, and I can't remember what they were. I'm so tired. It's late. Uh, what did I? What were they? And I didn't do any research because I need to get this done. And I'm talking to myself now. When I should be talking to you. So uh, yeah, cat, that's gonna burn you if you touch that lamp. I'm just telling you. Just telling you. Um, I'll leave a comment down below and tell me what I forgot, and then I'll touch base on it next week. Um, but I did want to give a huge, huge thank you to um, uh, one of our listeners of the Comics Conspiracy Podcast, uh, Tyler. Uh, he lives in Indiana, um, and uh, he mailed uh, my uh, he mailed the podcast, uh, the Comics Conspiracy Podcast hosts, uh, some gifts, uh, because he doesn't, he can't necessarily do Patreon donations, but he wanted to give us something, and so he gave each of us uh, a little something, um, if you want to know what everyone else got, uh, you can check out episode 265 of the Comic Conspiracy, uh, where we talk some uh, X-Men Apocalypse, uh, Flash, uh, season two, uh, finale, and uh, May sale starts and a couple other things, um, you can find that at www.geekbox.net and we also had a special guest ryan hess was on uh awesome awesome guy he has a new podcast out called preacher or preach i should say uh so you should check that out it's kind of a comedy thing uh but back to what tyler sent us um so yeah you can listen and hear what we uh, got from him but uh, the first thing he sent me was a ryan dumb levy uh sketch of spider-man and a boom box and on some rollerblades and what looks like a baseball cap on, pretty cool, awesome, awesome. And then he um, actually got a copy of Swamp Thing number one, signed by Scott Snyder down here, and personalized from Yannick Patrick. 
uh, to me. So thank you, Tyler. This was an amazing, amazing uh, thing. Uh, I was really surprised that uh, we got it. But uh, if anything, uh, I love Scott Snyder and uh, Yannicka's art is just amazing. So it's really awesome that uh, you got us something that was personalized. So thank you. Um, I am friends with Yannick on uh, social media, so I'll have to see if he remembers signing that. But uh, thank you, Tyler. Tyler, appreciate it uh, very, very much. So, so that's it for the pull list. Uh, I'm going to get finished this up so I can get going. Uh, but remember, like, share, subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, leave comments down below uh, what you picked up this week, so on and so forth, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, enjoy reading them and trying to respond to the, all of them. Uh, you can again hear me on the Comic Conspiracy podcast. Uh, we just recorded episode uh, 265, so look for that. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle's at Brock Sager. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm really, really tired, so I'm going to end this podcast. So I will see you next week.